to the Bold Strong Show. We have a new episode today, and today we we have our pleasure to have Brad Field with us. So welcome to the show, Brad. And Thanks for uh, having me. Yeah, I'm glad you could break away from the stampede. I have to excuse the shirt. This isn't normal. So we're in the stampede mode now in Calgary, and you're, uh, you're running for mayor. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think yours was the first sign I saw back, I don't know when, it was on top of Metro Ford. Yeah on top there so I was like who's this guy we don't know him yeah. give us a quick rundown like give us a quick couple minutes to tell us who you are and yeah you know uh, so I grew up in the city of Calgary I wasn't yep. born here but nearly five decades mm -hmm. and uh, you know I grew up in South Calgary uh, back when you know Anderson Road Canyon Mills Drive was the edge of the earth you know as a kid and used to we used okay. to hop on our bikes cut through Fish Creek Park and go to Midnapore because that was considered a road trip because it was out of town so that's going back a little bit. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, no, I've, uh, you know, I grew up here and passionate Calgarian. I married my high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. We met in grade 10. And What school uh, did you go to? Dr. E.P. Scarlett. <sighs> yeah. Why? What school no did you kidding. go to? <laughs> I was in Edmonton. I was in Skona. Oh, there you go. So, okay. Yeah. So no hard feelings there. <laughs> no. Oh, that's awesome. No. Yeah. You know, and uh, raised three wonderful kids yeah. here in Calgary, uh, Mitch, Kyle, and Haley, and they're coming up 30, 28, and 22. Oh, great. And they've all you know, chosen their own journey and mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, they, I learn from them every day and we have great conversations. And then for me, I, you know, I was born an entrepreneur mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you know, uh, my first business here in Calgary at age 12, mm -hmm. uh, bought my first real estate as a teenager and then went on to buy, build and sell businesses in different industry sectors around the world. Everything from healthcare to heavy equipment to fire suppression to real estate. Yeah, so it's kind of in my heart. I, I love that part of it, you know, yep. meeting new people and, and hearing different stories, you know, from different parts of the world. So that's what's cool. And that kind of dovetails nice into, you know, running for yeah. public office, you know, yeah. just hearing people's stories. Very cool. Yeah. Well, I think one thing that, that is really interesting uh, when we talk to individuals that are in the political world is I think if you're I guess it's interesting when you're in business and then you can you go into politics versus when you kind of come up through politics there's a different flavor and I and I think it's um is a it's kind of a good story to tell because you know, when people are in business they see the world a certain way when people are in politics they see the world maybe slightly differently so do you see that like do you see how like how you see it differently than perhaps Someone else. I won't. Someone else. Point we won't name names. Point at him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no question. Um, you know, you know, through my life experience, you know, working in the community, but also you know, doing business in the community in different mm -hmm. jurisdictions. Um, you know, I think the interactions are more genuine. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's about getting to know people, uh, what makes them tick. I often say, you know, go into every conversation with an open heart and an open mind. Mm -hmm. and share knowledge and that's where the real value is i think in politics more so even today that it's always about you know what's going to get me elected or what's going to get me sure. re-elected so the messaging is tighter the mm -hmm. messaging in some cases is about pleasing the next voter mm -hmm. and so it's i find it disingenuous sometimes and yeah. so i'm new to the game uh the political game and i'm just trying to be authentic at the end of the day and i tried very i don't be quite transparent about it very early on i started this you know campaign for me three and a half years ago mm -hmm. committing to running in 2021 and uh you know being naive and new to the game and i think we've always you know all people at some point in their life has tried to be someone different than they actually are right and i tried that you know i'll be quite frank you know very early on i tried to be smarter than i actually was or be someone different than i actually was because i was trying to be that political person mm -hmm. I failed miserably at it. It actually mm. came off worse than I intended. So I just gave on, gave up on that very quickly. It was a hard lesson to learn. Uh, and now I'm just like me or not, I'm right. genuine, I'm authentic. We may not always agree, but you'll get authentic Brad at the end of yeah. the day. And so. we'll probably still get along. Oh yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Great. But respect, right? It's all yeah. about respect. And, and again, we've got lots of people with lots of opinions. Hard right, hard left, in between, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Uh, but if we respect and value everybody's opinion, that's where the magic happens.